The frost had settled in, a tangible weight on the air, mirroring the heavy feeling in Mark's chest. It had been five long months since Tom, his ginger cat, had vanished. The daily calls, the hopeful whispers of I think I saw him, had dwindled to a trickle. The faith he'd clung to, the hope that Tom would come bounding back, was turning to brittle ice. One day, a stray ginger cat had wandered into Mark's life, a skinny, nervous creature with the same rusty fur as Tom. Mark had clutched at the hope it offered, clinging to the idea that this was his beloved Tom, lost and thin. He named the new arrival Silino, a name chosen in a rush, a placeholder until he could confirm the truth. Silino was a force of nature. He claimed Mark's lap as his throne, purring like a motor, his rumbling a comforting counterpoint to Mark's anxiety. He would bully the other pets, demand endless attention, and generally rule the house with a mischievous grin. Mark loved him fiercely, but the ache for Tom never faded. Then, the phone call. A woman, her voice excited, spoke of a ginger cat she'd seen, a cat that looked like Tom. Mark, his heart thudding against his ribs, asked for a picture. The image that flickered across his phone screen was a revelation. It was Tom. Emaciated, his once sleek fur matted, but undeniably Tom. Mark drove to the address, a knot of emotion tightening in his stomach. He found Tom, his old friend, sprawled on a bed, a contented smirk on his face. He'd raided the dog's bowl, devoured the cat's food, and made himself perfectly at home. The vet confirmed the worst. Tom had lost three kilos, his body weakened by his time on the streets. He needed care, love, and good food. Mark, his heart overflowing, took Tom home. He felt the gazes of his friends, the unspoken question hanging in the air, what about Silino? He looked at Silino, curled up on the sofa, his ginger fur glowing in the firelight. Silino, the ginger cat who had filled the void, who had brought comfort in the absence of Tom. He stays, Mark declared, his voice thick with emotion. We're a family now, both of them. The friends, their eyes widening in understanding, nodded. Mark realized that his heart, once filled with the fear of losing Tom, was now overflowing with the unexpected joy of having two ginger cats, two bundles of purring, demanding love. Miracles happened, sometimes in the most unexpected ways, changing lives forever. The frost had melted, replaced by the warmth of a doubled love. 